Okay, <coughs> so walk around this uh, P registration, so either 1996 or 97. Land Rover Defender 90, 300 TDI, factory county station wagon, seven seater. Uh, finished in uh, Arles Blue, and quite a high spec on this one. It is a proper f um, factory county station wagon, so it's got uh, tinted glass, uh, sunroof, alpine lights, um, and all the, sort of the extra sound deadening that a county has. But it's also got alloy wheels, um, full length side steps, uh, a full length galvanised roof rack with rear access ladder, snorkel, checker plate on the wing tops, modesty covers and rear quarters. So it's a full seven seater. It's got a radio CD, however I can't find an aerial on it. There is power getting to the uh, getting to the stereo, but I think uh, whoever's owned it has just, just been playing CDs in it because um, uh, you can't pick up a radio signal because there doesn't appear to be an aerial on it. Uh, what else do we have? Tow pack with electrics. Um, that's about it. Anyway, let's go and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Paintwork looks to be largely original. It's a bit dented on the left-hand side, but um, it's, it's a, it is the original colour. Around the front end, the bonnet has got quite a lot of dents in it. I think people have been standing on the bonnet, which is a, if you're going to do that, you should put a checker plate section in the middle there. But so it's a bit dented there there and there and there a couple of other spots it hasn't broken the paint at all but uh, the paint the, the bonnet is a bit a little bit ripply around the front end there is some paint loss and electrolytic reaction around the front panel um, front bumper has lost a bit of its uh, um, black coating especially down there now the near side front wing has obviously been dented and then tried to beat someone's tried to beat it out that's just a polish mark there um, but it is a bit dented as you can see around here um, some paint loss and stuff around there, so obviously come into contact with something. Don't think this one's been used for uh, for heavy off-roading. There's no um, no guards and stuff underneath it, and it's all quite uh, um, quite straight underneath. But uh, it's obviously knocked into something there. Um, otherwise, the near side front wing is actually pretty good. The the, the near side eyebrow has lost quite a bit of its paint down to. Uh, what looks like the uh, the undercoat, unless it's an eyebrow for another vehicle that's been painted. Not sure. Um, scuttle corners, both uh, hinge covers have lost all of their paint, which is not unusual. But the scuttle corners themselves actually look pretty good around here. That's all quite nice. Here's a bit of a bit of rusting just starting just up there above the vent on the near side, but otherwise it's pretty good. Um, roof all looks good. Expect the sunroof to leak. They always do on these. And that one hasn't been sealed. Um, a posts all look good. Some electrolytic reaction around the bottom hinge on the um, on the passenger door, and a little bit of paint loss just there. A little bit of reaction on the bottom edge. So we look inside. Uh, unusually for a county station wagon, it's still got its all its front carpets. Um, they're all in place, and the footwells behind them are quite good. You can see it there. Uh, the middle seat, obviously this is one that was a six-seater that uh, someone's replaced the cubby box with a uh, with a middle seat um, in vinyl rather than in cloth. Uh, we have got a cloth one which you could have if you really wanted, but it is it, this is the Rayleigh trim and the one we've got is um, is a slightly different trim pattern, but um, that's why we left, it in, left that one in there. Headlining is a bit grubby, but being a county station wagon it's got all the proper trims around the windows. Um, the middle seat has got a couple of nicks in it here and here and here. In fact, the driver's sorry, the passenger seat base has got a couple of uh, splits in the in the cloth here and here, and it's a bit stained just here. Um, dash is all good. So its rear seats are all in there with seat belts and everything. Bottom frame on the passenger door actually feels quite reasonable. It's not crumbling under my fingers. A little bit of movement in the bottom hinge pin, but no more than that. That's the door seems to be okay and shuts well enough. Along the near side, um, all looks fine actually. A bit of reaction around some of the rivet points around here, but no more than that. Uh, given that it's 18, 19 years old, not too bad. Cross member looks good from the back from the, the back side of it, or the outer side that you can see. Around the tail end there is the usual electric reaction and paint loss up here, here, here and here and some staining on the tailgate in the usual place where the reaction is just starting around here and down there. 
Same this side, bit of paint loss, bit of reaction, usual stuff. End up here as well. In the back, uh, it hasn't got any either carpeting or mat in the, in the, in the back of it. Um, really probably could do with one, it'll drop the noise a little bit. Um, but all four seats look to be in reasonably good shape and they've all got seat belts. Uh, the tailgate check strap is missing as well. Tailgate frame, a bit hold here, but otherwise that's about it. There's a bit of a hole just there. But otherwise it's good on the ends, so it seems to be holding the, the, um, the spare wheel up well still. But it's um, shut well enough. Looking down the offside, a few dinks in the driver's door barrel side. But otherwise, it's relatively straight. Some of the tub top trims are just starting to rust a bit up here, here and here, and a bit of reaction and stuff here and there. Uh, but otherwise, slight depression dink just there in the offside rear wing. That looks good. Some reaction on the driver's door. We've talked about these dents just here. Some reaction on the base of the driver's door at both corners. We'll come back to that. The scuttle corner again on the offside looks pretty good actually. Again, a little bit of rust just starting just up there in the um, just above the vent panel, but it hasn't broken through. Um, offside front wing, a couple of bits of paint loss and stuff on it, but otherwise okay. And there's a scuff on the front of the offside front eyebrow just there. Um, inside, as I say, driver's seat's all good. Uh, dash is nice. Slightly crusty just in the corner there of the driver's door, but underneath here, again, all feels reasonably good. Yep, that's really a problem there. Again, bottom hinge pin, worn, probably could do with replacement. But the doors themselves still shut nicely, still do uh, what they're designed to do. Um, yeah, that's about it. i say she is a genuine county station wagon. Um, my name's Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and Mastercard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.